What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the Driver Mod. My name's Anthony. We're gonna be doing a little mod on the GT350 today. As you can see, we got the GT350 on the quick jacks. We're doing a little post track day cleaning, uh, some material swapping, uh, just getting the car reconditioned. This mod is gonna be for those guys that like tracking their car. Also gonna provide a benefit with this car because the brakes on this car are so just overkill on this car from the factory that when you try to heel toe downshift, sometimes you lose a little bit of that braking pressure so the mod we're going to do today is going to help you keep maximum braking pressure improve those lap times and smooth out your downshifts and rev matching so the mod we're going to be doing today is the blip module for all s550 gt350s uh, made by x engineering proudly made here in the usa as you see right there on the box here in central florida i met these guys i met max and his team out at the vmp car show got to talking about the car they went ahead and told me hey get this installed in your car do a little video in installing it give us a little you know feedback on it and i am happily going to do that so just breaking down what comes with the uh kit you get your little simple instructions labels the power and ground wires you know the wire colors what it needs to go to uh the full install guide as you can see right there they have a nice convenient qr code that you can scan with your phone you get the full pdf install guide you get your oem specific harness right here now, we've already gone through this just to get everything easily and tied and readily accessible now this is the interface that you're going to interact with uh, as the operator it's got a manual on and off switch so if you don't want the auto rev matching you can just quick flick the toggle switch and it'll sa disable it this is what's going to wire into your clutch brake and throttle uh, connectors and as you can see everything's nicely labeled you know clutch brake easy day super convenient and well done and then we have the actual module itself. Uh, all the software tuning and uh, calibration is done right here. So shout out to Max and his entire team over there at X Engineering. We're gonna get this on the car and let you know what we think. There's all his contact information if you'd like to ask any questions or shoot him any messages inquiring about the product. Now let's get to that install. So we took the harness with the six and the four pin connectors, these bigger ones. We fished them under the dash. There's like there's a very convenient tunnel right here that goes all the way from the passenger floorboard to the driver floorboard. So you're gonna go on the driver's side, fish those through, pull them through nice and gently so you don't snag any of the wires or you know cut a wire. And then you're gonna fish them up and over the glove blocks lid. Uh, this is where the module's gonna be. And then you take your big 20 pin connector, connect that to it, and we're just gonna set this in here we're going to mount it with two mounting screws we'll get to that in a second but we're going to go ahead and connect these together all right six goes to six four goes to four all right now we're just going to leave this open so that we remember to go back and uh, mount this we're going to go over to the driver's side everything else is going to be done on the driver's side of the car next we're going to start with the accelerator pedal find the braided cable that's going to have your inlet and outlet female and male connectors for the accelerator pedal position you're simply going to disconnect the oem harness hook up this harness and then hook up the oem harness into the open end and you're going to do the same thing with your brake here's your brake switch male and female connectors it's the white four pin connectors and then your clutch switch is the smaller two wire connectors so we're just gonna go accelerator pedal, brake pedal, clutch pedal. It's gonna be hard to film some of this, but we'll do the best we can. So way up there is our accelerator pedal connector. I've marked it with a white zip tie so you can visually see it's on the top of the pedal assembly. We're just gonna disconnect that and install the X Engineering flip module uh, bypass in there. Just release the red locking tab and then you'll be able to depress and pull it out. It's hard to have the camera in there, so just doing the best we can. Let me show you what we got under here. Got the accelerator pedal, male and female connectors plugged in. We have the brake switch right there. It's a four pin white connector. And then the clutch switch is the trickiest one. It is not that gray connector at the bottom of the clutch pedal. That is the lower clutch switch. 
the clutch switch that you need to splice into if you follow the clutch pedal up you're going to see another stopper right there that beige tab that actuates the upper clutch switch that's the one that you have to connect to with the harness supplied uh, male and female ends that one is kind of tricky if you have hands bigger than mine it's a tight fit um i found that if you remove that clutch switch it's very difficult to get it back in position so that one's the trickiest that one's going to give you the most uh, frustration but of course make sure all the wiring is out of the way of the moving pedals and the steering column now the instructions say to uh, drill a hole in this panel right here and you can wire the switch in uh, before we go through all that we want to make sure everything works uh, before we make everything more semi-permanent now something to note when you're done using this you do have to disable it if you leave it on it's going to draw a little bit of battery power so even when the car is completely powered off as you can see if you leave this on it can draw some power so definitely remember put it somewhere that you're not going to forget to turn it off and that's another reason why they have the led on there so that you know it's powered on and you don't forget to put it up turn it off so definitely don't tuck this somewhere that you're going to forget about it put it somewhere that's going to be somewhat in a visual spot now before we go out and road test it we are going to test to make sure that the braking the clutch and the throttle all work properly at least electronically um, so we'll go ahead and push the clutch in see all right you can hear the fuel pumps and the uh, exhaust actuator simulate so now we can go ahead and fire it up all right and we're just going to give a couple blips of the throttle all right and make sure our brake lights are working fortunately i have a reflective car behind me so i can see that my brake lights are indeed working um, go ahead and power this up make sure the module is powered on all right now we're good to go ahead and take this on a road test i'm going to zip the wheels back on and uh, go take it for a spin back that sensitivity well guys as you can see we lost daylight pretty quickly here uh, so we weren't able to get out and do the test well I did but you can't see anything so we're gonna put our review and driving impressions of the X engineering blip module in a completely separate video so thank you for watching this install video definitely drop a comment down below let me know what you think don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe on the way out we'll see you on the next one here at the driver mod